Of course, I'm happy to start. All right, so uh, welcome everyone to the uh, One World Combinatorics on Words uh, seminar. Uh, our speaker today is um, uh, Golnaz Badkova, and uh, she is going to speak about left linden tree construction. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, this work is a joint work with Maxime Kroshmore, and it was presented uh, last year in Prague uh, Stringology Conference. Um, it was actually presented in person by Maxime. Um, okay. Um, right. How... There. So I start with uh, basic definitions. Uh, we all know what a string and word is, is a sequence of symbols. Uh, um, and uh, we can order uh, words or strings uh, based on their lexicographic ranking. Um, and the order is defined um, as follows. The word U is strictly smaller than V if we can write U as R A S and V as R B T, where R is the uh, longest common uh, prefix, and A and B are two letters are different, and A is smaller than B, followed by uh, these two words that they can be empty. Uh, then uh, we can say that U is a smaller than V uh, if either U is a strictly smaller than V or U is a proper prefix of V. So you can think of this as a, how the dictionary is uh, uh, sorted and written. Then we have another ordering, this infinite order introduced by Dolce et al. in 2019. Uh, we say U is a smaller than V under infinite order if uh, infinitely many concatenation of U is a smaller than infinitely many concatenation of V or uh, infinitely many concatenation of U is the same as infinitely many concatenation of V, but U is, the length of U is greater than the length of V. Uh, okay, so for example, AB is uh, uh, lexicographically smaller than ABA, but if you concatenate uh, AB infinitely many times, you get AB, 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 uh, and if you concatenate ABA infinitely many times, you get ABA, ABA, and you can see that uh, this time AB uh, infinitely many times is bigger than ABA um, concatenated infinitely many times because you get AB, AB, here AB, AA. Okay, uh, so that's why they are a bit different. Uh, so Linden uh, introduced this class of words uh, that we call now Linden words in 1954 uh, based on the following uh, conditions. Uh, we say that if you can uh, factorize W um, uh, by two words U and V, and these uh, two, U and V are not empty words, so we call them non-trivial factorization of W, any factorization you pick, uh, then the following uh, holds. W is a smaller than uh, VU, which is a conjugate of W. Uh, v is a smaller than any suffix of, uh, am I saying V or W? W is a smaller than uh, any of its suffixes. And the last condition was uh, added uh, by uh, Yufnorovsky in 2011 saying that infinitely many uh, concatenation of U, which is any uh, prefix of W, is the smaller than uh, infinitely many concatenation of W. So this last condition is uh, not in the original definition of Linden words. Um, so let's look at a few examples. If you look at binary words, these are a few binary Linden words. A, because it's a singleton, uh, it's, a, it's a Linden word. Um, similarly, B is a Linden word, then AB is a Linden word, AAB is a Linden word, and so on. So non-Linden words, I have a, an example here. Um, let's look at W. If W is ABB, AB, then I can factorize W uh, so that U is ABB and V is AB. 
Then the conjugate, uh, if I write uh, V, uh, U is AB, ABB, and this is clearly smaller than, uh, lexicographically smaller than W. Uh, so the first condition is not met, therefore W is not a linear mode. Uh, this is another example. If W is ABAB, -A -B, which is a periodic word, um, then uh, U, if the prefix, you look at the prefix U, which is AB, then uh, AB infinitely many times is the same as ABAB -A -B infinitely many times. Therefore, the condition three is not met. And this word is not a linear word. Um, okay, why do we look at uh, linear words? Uh, uh, words are structured by the Linden factors and the Linden factorization, uh, which is basically every word can be factorized uniquely into a decreasing uh, sequence of Linden words, uh, can uh, structure the words uh, and we can look at it as a way of pre-processing step for string algorithms. Um, this was uh, famously used in the uh, paper by Banai et al. in Run Theorem, uh, and they used Linden uh, factorization, Linden trees, uh, to uh, prove the Run conjecture. And also, it was used by Maxime uh, Proshmor and a and, uh, few other authors in 2012 when they uh, looked at the, the number of uh, cubic runs. Uh, it can also uh, be used for uh, creating suffix arrays. And if you're interested, you can look at the few references I have uh, in the slides. So a natural question could be that if we can build a Linden suffix table uh, and look at every prefix of the word and uh, the longest suffix of every prefix that is a Linden word. So this is the, the informal way of uh, defining this table, but I, I um, present the pseudocode for this algorithm, how we can build this table. Uh, so this uh, table is somehow um, similar or parallel to another table called LINS, I think is in Banai, uh, it's all paper. Uh, where they look at the suffixes of the word and the longest prefix of every suffix. So it's kind of a flip definition of what they had in the paper. So let's look at this example. Uh, if Y is A, B, A, B, B, A, B, A, B, B, A, B, A, C, and the alphabet is uh, constant letters A, B, and the order is usual. A is smaller than B, B is smaller than C, and so on. Um, and here J uh, is the index um, and Y, J is the letter at that index. So this is our example Y. And we are looking at the, uh, this lin S, which is the Linden suffix table um, of Y. So looking at the first prefix, we have A and the longest suffix of this prefix that is a Linden word is A itself. So the length of this is one. Then we sequentially process this and we move on to the next uh, um, index. The prefix is AB, and we are looking at the longest suffix of AB that is a Linden word. In this case, uh, AB is a Linden word, so this length is two. Now, when we move to uh, index two, the next letter is A. We see that ABA is not a Linden word. Uh, BA is not a Linden word. So the longest suffix of this prefix ABA that is a Linden word is just this letter A, okay? We already saw ABA is not a Linden word because it's periodic. Um, and the longest uh, suffix of this prefix that is a Linden word cannot be BAB. So it is AB, okay? The next one, uh, AB, ABB itself is a Linden word. Uh, so this is the longest suffix of this prefix that is a Linden word. And we can compute this uh, uh, letter by letter and build this table. Okay, um, so some properties of Linden words is uh, that we used in our algorithm. Uh, the first one is that if you have 
any Linden word and you take any prefix of this Linden word, uh, let's call it ZA, it doesn't have to have any property, uh, any prefix of this Linden word, and this letter A, you replace this with any letter bigger than A, then ZB, let's call that B, ZB is a Linden word. Okay, then uh, U and V, uh, if U and V are both Linden words and U is smaller than V, then the concatenation of them is also a Linden word. Okay, and the, uh, the, the, maybe the, the key to, in our algorithm was this property by the wall that if uh, you have a Linden word, it can be written as uh, X to the power of E, uh, Z, which with where, where z is a prefix of x plus a letter so all in them words if they are not singleton can be written in this form uh, and x is the period obviously and z is a prefix of x so imagine you have pr uh, processed uh, and looked at the uh, y up to uh, j minus one and now you are reading letter j here uh, a J, um, it is enough to compare this letter with the letter that follows Z at the beginning, the prefix. And if this letter, new letter, is bigger than um, the letter position I, then you can establish that Y uh, from zero to J is a Linden word and its period is J plus one. So uh, this property, uh, closely connect Linden words and periodicity. So we use this and uh, sequentially uh, computing periods and, and uh, based on that, uh, uh, build this table of Linden suffixes. And this is a pseudocode for, for the algorithm. And this algorithm runs in linear time and computes Linden suffix table in linear time. Uh, so the the, the key in this algorithm is just the, the observation I just showed you by the wall. Um, okay, um, so uh, what is this? What, what about, I'm talking about left and uh, you may think what is the right version of it and why they're different. Um, if Y is a Linden board, we are looking at left uh, Linden tree and therefore left Linden factorization of uh, this board. Um, for left tree, we look at the prefixes and take the longest pre proper Linden prefix of Y and factorize at that uh, uh, position where this uh, longest uh, Linden prefix ends. So if, you're, if our example is this, uh, we look at the prefixes and we take the longest prefix that is a Linden word. Okay, so uh, it has to be a proper prefix. So it can be the, the word itself. The Linden word, if it starts with A, it cannot end in A. So we cannot end here, we cannot end here. Uh, we check this prefix. And because uh, Y starts with four A's, therefore uh, this is a, a Linden prefix. This is a Linden word. This prefix is a Linden word, so we can factorize at this position. Um, whereas, if you you look at um, the right Linden factorization, we take the longest suffix that is a um, a Linden word. So, for the same example, we would have factorized it at this position. So, A would be the the first factor and uh, the rest is the, the second factor. And clearly these two uh, don't coincide. Uh, we have examples where uh, Linden factorization left and right are the same, but uh, this is not the case for all, word, all the words. Left Linden tree of Y, uh, how do we do that? So we know how to factorize the word. We just factorize recursively, uh, for example, for this uh, word, AB, ABB, uh, the longest prefix that is a Linden word is in this case is AB. So we factorize it into AB and ABB. Uh, 
you can think that this is the um, left branch of the tree and ABB is the right branch. And now we recursively factorize. So AB we factorize into A and B and ABB into AB and B. And again, this uh, left branch of, of the, the right branch of the tree, we factorize again into A and B. Okay, so you can see that this forms a tree um, and it looks like this. In this case, a uh, left linden tree of AB, ABB and the right linden tree, uh, they uh, converge. Uh, but we can see that for this example, which I believe is the shortest binary world uh, whose right and left linden trees don't converge, uh, we get these two different trees. Okay, so this is uh, our uh, algorithm that uh, builds left linden tree and the input, as you can see, has to be a, a linden word. Uh, it has in, in it embedded uh, building the linden suffix table using the peridocity. And at the end, it has a loop uh, that uh, I will explain in the, uh, in the next slide, uh, how, to, how it creates new nodes and uh, um, and merges the subtrees. I uh, have a brain fog now. Uh, this algorithm works in linear time um, and it builds the left linden tree. Okay, how does it work? Um, as I said, we sequentially build linden uh, suffix table um, by looking at the periods of the prefixes. Okay, um, so here we have a linden suffix of, the, of A is uh, one. And when we get a, a two, we merge uh, these two leaves and make a new node. Again, we do the same. And here you can see when the linden suffix is five, it means these five letters uh, form a linden word. Therefore, they have to be in a subtree. Um, and how we connect this, we uh, look at the previous word, um, uh, index and we make a new node that a right uh, uh, tree connects to the, the word we just, the letter we just read, and the left one connects to the root of. Uh, what we had. And again, we make a new node and we connect it with this subtree. Okay, and our stopping point is indicated by this linden suffix table. So this subtree cannot connect to another subtree because uh, the maximum length of any linden suffix ending at this position is five. Okay, we do this again and again, and again, as, as you can see, these two subtrees are disjoint and we cannot make a new root. So again, um, and here we can see is uh, bigger than um, A and B. We know that this word is a Linden word. Um, so this is uh, a new node. And because the length of Linden suffix here is 14, we know that all the subtrees we have made so far, they have to be connected uh, by a single uh, root. So this is how it uh, builds the tree. Okay, um, so I uh, started with defining orders and ranks. Um, this is because our algorithm, uh, uh, after building the, the, the left linden tree, um, as a byproduct, it can also rank the prefixes. Um, so I just want to uh, explain what this prefix standard permutation is and uh, tell you how our algorithm can um, rank the prefixes. So what do we mean by ranking? It's similar to suffix, uh, suffix array. We are just build, uh, building uh, ranks of prefixes. And we use infinite ordering. Um, Okay, so this uh, basically 
when we talk about infinite ordering, we look at infinitely many uh, concatenation of every prefix. So these dots that I put here is to just indicate that, for example, here I have a ABA, ABA, the prefix is actually ABA, and I just concatenated it with itself to uh, establish the ranking of these prefixes. Um, okay, so the, the first column is not going to give me anything. They all start with A, but the second column, uh, the, the first row has A, and all the other rows have B. Um, it means that my first prefix uh, takes the rank one. Uh, again, the third column is not giving me anything, and, and I move on to the fourth column, and I see that the suffix of length three, the suffix that ends at position two, uh, takes the rank two because it has an A here, uh, therefore this must be lexicographically smaller than uh, all the other prefixes. Um, so I move on, and here I get three and four, um, and Again, um, looking at this A, I know that the prefix that ends at position five has rank five. And then magically I get all of these numbers. Um, but I tell you a bit uh, later on why uh, it is enough to just sort uh, the first, um, uh, the batch of prefixes uh, whose ending position is within the first occurrence of the period. Okay, um, so here is the ranking, and then I get the full table here. So this was my word, and this is the ranking of its prefixes um, according to infinite order. Okay, then I can build the Cartesian tree of this prefix rank. It looks like this. And in the paper in 2019, uh, same paper by Dolce et al, um, they proved that the tree of internal nodes of the left Linden tree of any Linden word um, are ranked, uh, are labeled by the ranks of proper prefixes of Y sorted according to infinite order. And it coincides with the Cartesian tree of the ranks. It was a very interesting uh, result. Um, and because of these properties, uh, we know that, so we can also, because we can build a, a left Linden tree of any word, we can also sort the proper prefixes of a Linden word um, using this in infinite ordering uh, in linear time. This is just um, a kind of a, a byproduct, I don't know, as a consequence of our algorithm. Um, and we see that in our uh, construction, these nodes are uh, made and processed according to this ordering. And we prove this by uh, looking at the properties of per uh, prefix standard permutation. Uh, so we know that a Linden word is either a singleton or it can be written as x power of k z b, where z is a prefix of x. Um, so what we did, we tried to group uh, the prefixes uh, based on the ending position. So uh, group E is where um, the, the prefix looks like uh, x to the power of E u. Um, and the ending point uh, sits within the uh, the the, the uh, how do you say this um, is uh, occurrence of the period X. So the 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 group one uh, P one the prefixes in the group one are the ones that uh, uh, the ending position is within the first occurrences of the period and the second occurrence of the period. Okay, uh, so then we uh, saw a few properties that were interesting. Uh, the first one is that the prefixes in the form of XEU, uh, where they belong to the group E, uh, are, they have the same relative infinite order in, uh, as prefixes in the in the the initial group. 
And the prefixes in the group E are smaller than prefixes in group F if F is bigger than E. And all prefixes in the group E are uh, smaller than prefixes uh, that look like X to the power of F. Okay, so for our example, we had AB, ABB, uh, AB, ABB, ABAC. So the initial groups are uh, the, uh, these prefixes, A, AB, ABA, AB, AB. And the, the, the first group, or P1 is uh, the period plus A, AB, ABA, ABAB. And the second group are two occurrences of uh, AB, ABB, followed by A. So basically, this prefix, this prefix, and this prefix. Okay, and X is the uh, AB, ABB, and X squared is AB. A, B, B, A, B, A, B, B. So it's enough to just sort P0 uh, because of the properties I mentioned. When we sort P0, then P1 and P2, uh, they uh, keep the relative order and we can just sort the prefixes uh, based on P P0. And when we are done, uh, we know that X uh, in relative order is bigger than X, this should be a squared. Um, so we can add this at the end. So our table uh, would look like this. So this is the P0, we can order this. And then P1 will take the same order. So one, two, three, four, then we have five, six, seven, eight. And the third group as well, uh, we have five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, then we add uh, X and X squared. Uh, right, um, so because of these properties, we, we uh, showed that our algorithm, uh, why our algorithm makes this node and uh, process this node uh, exactly in the order of uh, previous standard permutation. Right, and uh, we managed to extend our algorithm so that the input uh, doesn't have to be a Linden word. Um, it factorizes the word into Linden words and then makes the forest, uh, Linden forest, forest um, uh, instead of Linden tree. Okay, um, and after our uh, the, the original um, submission, Maxim and I started working on reverse engineering and looking at uh, prefix standard permutation and how we can build uh, the original word using the prefix standard permutation, or we say whether it is valid or not. Um, and we uh, saw that uh, obviously it's, it's quite uh, easy to see that on binary alphabet, uh, PSP is one to one. Um, but we uh, looking at the properties of PSP and what I just mentioned, uh, we managed to um, find and uh, write an algorithm that works in linear time, constructing, reconstructing the word using uh, uh, PSP. Uh, so other things that we are interested in is how much um, uh, Linden, the right Linden tree can help sorting the suffixes because obviously um, our left Linden tree can be used um, as a way to construct PSB or ranking prefixes. We are interested to see whether uh, we can do the similar um, using a right Linden tree and suffixes. Um, then we looked into how we can construct left linden tree using right linden tree and vice versa. Uh, not very successfully, but we're still working on that. Um, and uh, what else? I cannot think of anything. Yeah, that's all for me. Oh, thank you, Gulnaz. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Uh, 
I see uh, Arseni. Ah, uh, yes, Arseni. Hello. Uh, Hi. Thank you for a nice talk. Nice to see you. Uh, Hello, okay, uh, Ilnas, I, uh, concerning uh, Lindon trees, I uh, know that there is such an uh, algorithmic problem. You are given a binary tree, yes, yes a, a complete binary tree, and uh, you are asked uh, for a, a word of a smallest alphabet, such that this is a Linden tree of, uh, uh, such that each Linden tree is uh, the tree you have. So every complete binary tree is a Linden tree of something. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the problem of um, minimum alphabet, I not completely sure, but at least a few years ago, it was widely open whether this problem uh, is um, easy or hard. So nobody had a NP hardness proof or nobody have a uh, ready polynomial time algorithm. Maybe, uh, have you think about this? Maybe your uh, approach with this uh, permutation can uh, help uh, solving this problem. Um, I assume that the problem is for a right linden tree. Uh, the one that you're mentioning just now. Okay. Uh, because with left, left linden tree, uh, as far as we know, we can, uh, what what we uh, construct uh, has the minimum uh, size alphabet uh, using PSP, uh, prefix standard permutation. But I'm not positive about right linden tree, um, and because we cannot yet find any connection between right and left linden trees, um, that right linden tree could be more tricky to to verify or, or to um, reverse engineer. Okay, but so for left Linden trees, uh, your method uh, gives a linear time algorithm, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yes, but because it is because of because Cartesian tree of the ranks coincide with left and Linden tree in nodes. Mm -hmm. We can do that, uh, but with the right linden tree, I uh, don't know if Maxim is here, maybe he could answer more clearly, but I don't think there is a connection between right linden tree, uh, the nodes and the suffixes. <clears throat> because if we have the suffix array, we can, uh, we can build the word. But I don't think from a binary tree, uh, assuming it's a right linden tree, we can build the suffix array and then find a, a word uh, with a minimum size alphabet. Uh, but uh, very interesting. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Christophe, did you have a question? Uh, yes, uh, thank you for this uh, nice talk and uh, the prefix, I mean the prefix standard permutation is uh, you clarify the, the structure of this uh, permutation very, very uh, precisely. And uh, I wonder, uh, my question is somewhat related to the previous question. I wonder, you said that uh, binary, for binary words, you can recover the word from the permutation. I think you yeah. said that. And I, it's written, it's still written here. Uh, but can you characterize the, which permutation you obtain for, for example, for a binary alphabet? Mm. Maybe I didn't understand, but which permutation I obtain or the word I obtain? Uh, no, you, the, the set of permutations can you characterize the set of permutations, which is uh, which are the prefix standard permutations of binary words? 
Oh, right. in the line of work, I don't know what's the good yeah, ca ca characterization. I don't know, but we can uh, definitely verify whether it's a PSP. It's a for a valid. Uh, so there exists a world uh, whose PSP coincide with your input. You have an algorithm, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, for and uh, if you take bigger alphabets also. Uh, for bigger alphabet, uh, we uh, are not uh, we are not uh, there yet. Uh -huh. Okay. But uh, if you have ideas, happy to discuss. Okay. I, I don't. I, I don't think Maxima is here. Uh, oh, Maxim is here. Yes. Who is here? Oh, I wanted to see if Max uh, Maxim bothered to attend my talk. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we we can definitely discuss this uh, offline. Okay. Thank you. All right. Does anyone else have any uh, question? Uh, if not, uh, thank you very much.